emergency. Yeah. I came to the year strike here in Newcastle each month. And that's my first reason for hope. So many people like you today are determined not to allow a catastrophe to unfold. I've seen more and more ever younger children step up to this mic and speak more eloquently than me and passionately about why they deserve a safe climate for their futures. Government leaders have tried to belittle you, but you are teaching us adults a lesson. To witness you in action reminds me why the Green Party wants 16 and 17 year olds to have a vote. All this, all this collective pressure is helping to change politics. That's my second reason for hope. The UK government's chief scientist, Sir Ian Boyd, said last month that reducing greenhouse emissions means ending the fixation on economic growth, reforming taxes, and putting community before consumerism. So I immediately posted him a Green Party membership form, obviously. Here in Newcastle, Greens have been continuing to press the council for progress. The good news is that after much delaying, they promise a citizens' assembly on climate, although they don't seem to really understand what that means yet. They've now set an actual deadline for the promised climate convention's first report. But the bad news is that's not till March 2020, almost a year after declaring an emergency. Tick tock, come on! Nationally, our government is in turmoil, so distracted by Brexit that they're ignoring this even bigger emergency. They're building new roads, expanding airports, fracking and mining new coal. The biggest fossil fuel subsidizer in the EU. 10 billion a year, while renewable energy gets only about 7 billion. Even the government's own climate change committee says we're not on track to meet our agreed targets. But I promise you a third reason to be hopeful. We still have time, just but not a moment to leave. To make it, we'll need joined up green policies focused on a safe climate and well-being for everyone. If we choose that green path, there's more good news. We get warmer homes, less stressful commutes, clean air, more local business, green jobs, we'll be able to walk or cycle to school or work safely. We get better mental health, healthier diets, and a more equal society. We get a safe future for our children, for all of you here. But the clock is ticking. Business as usual is not an option if we want to survive. We need to radically shift society's priorities and economic system. We're the only party that doesn't just pursue economic growth. But there's no third option here. We need to plant trees, yes, lots of trees, but there's no magic climate tree and no techno fix that can solve this in time. The climate crisis requires us to treat, speak truth to power like you are doing today. The upsurge in Green Party councillors doing just that gives me more hope. But to turn things around fast, we adults must use our votes for our children. And all of us, must be climate campaigners because, and there are a few placards I see who might agree with me, because as another hero of my youth, Dr. Cece's Lorax rightly puts it, unless someone like you cares a whole awful lot, it's not going to get better. It's just not. Thank you.